Hey YouTube, Jedi Fuka here. We are on Dragonair right now. On my server has completely beat the other world exploration. So now we were in the waiting period for the next season to start. So for this video, I just want to talk about the things that you should be focusing on as you wait for that to go. So first of all, once this completely ends, you will get your damage ranking. Um, I ended at rank 121. So you do have an idea of what sort of um, rewards you're going to get. This probably is not going to change much between this and the very end of the season because the only thing we're really now grinding this out from for the sand cores is going to be the vortex boss. So for the most part, once you hit your rankings, it's probably where you're going to be at. If you guys are in the top 150, you're going to get this really cool war horse mount. And then we're also going to be getting these premium summon tickets that are going to help us get a better chance at getting some of the new legendaries. Um, but even if you're not in the top 150, you're still going to get some Heliolite dice and some summoning tickets. So as long as you played the game, you're at least getting one free legendary off of this. Now, going over what you guys should kind of focus on during this time is, first of all, if you did a lot of grinding during the season and you're getting a little bit burnt out, um, I would recommend just taking a break. It doesn't hurt to step away for a little bit, regroup yourself if you plan on playing next season, and then get back into it when the next season gets going. Um, this game had a ton of content in this season. I know I definitely put probably more time than what I should have been putting playing it, but... I had a lot of fun with this season. I hope you guys did too. And this is a very good time to take a break. So remember, it doesn't hurt to take a break. Even skip doing your dailies. You're not going to get much out of it at the end. Now, of course, I recommend continuing your Vortex if you're trying to maintain your rank. But other than that, you should definitely take a break, step away. Now, if you still want to keep kind of pushing some stuff in the game, the main things to be focusing on is going to be Fade Meander. As you see, I'm on 143 here, so I'm going to try to push this up as much as I can. Um, this is a spot that I got stuck in, but now I got, you know, all my gear, my champions, that I can actually have time to go in and try to play with that and get this pushed up a little bit more. Still have Arena if you want to keep doing Arena. And then, of course, we have our Pillars. Um, let's move over here real quick the pillar of lights as you see i have two on stage 59 both of them i'm having a hard time beating the final boss so i'm going to try to get that done before the season's over so i get the heliolite and then my fire poison i don't really have um, any good legendaries for this so i'm going to have a hard time pushing this up but i am going to try to push that up so that's something else that you guys can keep in mind to keep pushing um, as far as using up your energy, once you kind of hit this point, um, as you see, I have max energy. You probably shouldn't be letting that happen, but if you're taking a break, no big deal on that. Um, however, if you're going to keep grinding the artifacts and things, there's really nothing in here that you need because none of this is going to carry on to next season. So if you stop doing this, it's not a big deal. The only thing that this is going to benefit you from is from this training event. So I do recommend if you're going to keep staying active, then use up your energy, try to make sure you're still getting this top um, rank so that you can still get the stuff from this. Now you do want to time it out. As you see, like this has five days left. And what they do is they're always going to rotate in the next one. So this will end on the 8th. Then the next one will be going on for a week, which will be ending right around the time the game um, resets. Just remember if that season reset is happening in the middle of one of these, you're not going to be getting those rewards. So there's no reason to push it out because this is all going to reset. Um, hopefully you guys finished out your story. You got Eric. He's definitely a good legendary to have. And then really other than that, there's nothing else in here that you need to focus on. The daily logins are good. If you're still trying to pick up some of this stuff up here, then you probably didn't play a ton. Um, if you're picking up the stuff down here, if you take a break for a few days, you're really not missing much as far as resource goes. The starlight dice carries over experience in this, um, stuff for upgrading your champs does not the wormire from here doesn't really um, carry over much you carry over your ones from when you were summoning you don't really carry over much as far as what you're collecting on here and then the wormire of course is good to get as you're going to be keeping your wormire and so that is stuff also that will be good for you to keep up with um, overall, I would say that this was a really good season. We had lots of areas in the game to play, tons of dungeons to be doing. I hope you guys had a good time like I did. And hopefully as soon as your servers are done with the resurgent dragon over here, you kind of get a little bit of time to take a break 
and not worry about what's going on too much in the game. Um, once you beat him, there's really nothing over here in the Sanguine Snowfields you need to do unless you have some exploration to finish up. Um, you can run around and finish collecting chests, anything else like that that you have over here. Also, if you haven't gone back through the map, I do recommend going back through the cities and talking to people. You do have the random people that you're able to challenge that the first time you get to, you probably couldn't beat them. Now that you're at the end game, you could probably go through and beat all those challenges. Once you hit this point in the game, they're all fairly simple. So I'd highly recommend going back, refining those challenges. If you didn't mark them on your map and beating those, you get some more mire from it and some other resources that are good for carrying into the next season. So definitely don't forget to do that if you didn't do it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you all have a good one.